Hey, what do you do for a living, April? I used to be a teacher, but now I'm a YouTube instructor. I specialize in creating tutorials for Unreal Engine, such as how to create intelligent NPCs using the Convey plugin. So that's what we're going to be learning today. About a month ago, I uploaded a video on how to create an intelligent NPC with a metahuman. And that video got a bunch of comments asking to make a tutorial. So that's what I'm going to be doing today. But disclaimer, I am sick and nasally, so bear with me. All right, so you're going to want to go to the Unreal Marketplace and you're going to search for Convea. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but it's C-O-N-V-A-I. And I already own this plugin, but you're going to want to install it to your engine. I've already installed it to all my engines and I haven't had any problems. So you may want to use an older engine that you don't have any real production stuff on and install it there if you're worried about it messing up your engine. But I've installed it on 5.1 and I don't have any problems. So, so I realized you're actually going to need 5.0.3 for their project file to work with. Next, you're going to go to the Convea website, C-O-N-V-A-I.com, then go to Docs at the top, then go to Unreal Engine Plugin. From here, they have two demo projects. Uh, I'm going to download the MetaHuman demo project. You can pick either one you want. Once it's downloaded, you just want to extract it, then open up the extracted file, and you'll have a demo project. Let's go ahead and double click on that and open up the demo project. Looks like it's opening in 5.03. So you'll want to make sure you have 5.03 that engine installed. Okay, so this is the level that they provide. Doesn't look very high quality for some reason. There we go. Yeah, nothing's going to work yet, I don't think. Let me just play the game and see what happens. Hi, what's your name? Anyone there? Alright, so nothing's working yet. Let's see. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go to edit plugins, search for Convia. There it is. Okay. So this is actually already enabled. Okay. So the next step you're actually going to have to do is go into Convia's website, convai.com and hit the uh, sign in and then sign up here if you don't have an account yet. I already have an account, so I'm going to log in. Okay, so in the top right hand corner, you'll see your login and you'll see the API key. You want to copy this API key, then go back into the Unreal Engine project, go to edit, Project settings, go down to plugins, and go to Convea, and in the API key, you want to paste that in here. I'm going to have to blur that out. But uh, yeah, that should be saved. All right, so now that we got the API key, let's play the game and see what happens. Hi, what's your name? Hi there, my name is Hannah. How can I help you? Why are you walking away from me when I talk to you, Hannah? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to be rude. 
I'm just a bit preoccupied with my thoughts. I'm actually an FBI agent, and I'm lost in the middle of nowhere, waiting to be rescued. Cool. So it works with the API key. Now we need to customize the uh, NPC and give it a backstory. Now we need to go back to the website. Go to your dashboard. You can create a new character here, but I'm just going to update the existing one. So it sounds like it's using the HANA right now. You're going to want to go to your HANA character and copy this character ID. Copy the character ID, then go back to Unreal Engine, and then go to the Content Browser, go to Core, and then go to this blueprint called Meta underscore PC. In here, you're gonna have character ID under variables on the left. And this is where you put in your character ID on the right. So I don't know what character ID was in there previously. It wasn't the HANA that I created on my account, but now I'm adding my HANA in there. Then you're gonna to wanna to compile and save. Then we go back to the website and we can update our characters info here. So I'm gonna name it, I'm gonna change the name from Hannah to April. And I'm gonna say instead of an FBI agent, I'm gonna say they are a chef in a high-end restaurant. in disguise as a spy. All right, so let me update this. Okay, and now we'll go back and we'll talk to Hannah and see if anything has changed. Hey Hannah, what do you do for a living? I'm an FBI agent. I specialize in undercover investigations and surveillance. All right, so we can see that that update did not work. And I've had this problem in the past as well. So I don't know what the issue is with our website, but you can actually go into the blueprint it's one of these blueprints, let me find it. Okay, yeah, it is the uh, Meta PC blueprint, but up here at the top, instead of being on the Create Context object, we wanna go back to the event graph. Now, somewhere in here, we can modify the character's backstory. Here it is. Okay, so under initialization, here is the backstory. So we can actually modify this here. I'm gonna go back to the website and just copy this in where I have her as a chef. And we're gonna change this here. So now Hannah should say she's a chef. I'm actually gonna change her name as well to April. And you can change her name here as well under new character name. I'm going to compile and save and let's go back to the game. We're going to play it. Hi, what's your name? Hi there. My name is April. What do you do for a living, April? I'm an FBI agent and a chef at a high-end restaurant. It's a bit of a disguise, actually. I'm currently lost in the middle of nowhere and waiting to be rescued. All right, this is future me after editing the video. I noticed I didn't really update the backstory properly, so she still said she was an FBI agent and lost in the woods. There was a second paragraph I didn't change, but uh, this is the intro video here where I changed it to uh, saying April is an ex-teacher turned YouTube instructor. 
She'll be making a YouTube tutorial on how to create an intelligent NPC for your game using the Convea plugin. So uh, now that I've made those changes, I'm just going to compile save. We'll have a little conversation with her. And you have to hit the space bar to have a conversation, just FYI, for the text to speech to work. Hi, what's your name? Hi, my name is April. What can I do I for you? She's walking away. Hey, what do you do for a living, April? I used to be a teacher, but now I'm a YouTube instructor. I specialize in creating tutorials for Unreal Engine, such as how to create intelligent NPCs using the Convey plugin. Let's see if we can confuse her. What's a blueprint class? A blueprint class is a type of programming language used in Unreal Engine. It is used to create or edit oh, objects and behaviors in a game. It is a node-based programming language, which means it is easy to understand and use. How did you know that? I've been learning and teaching Unreal Engine for many years. I'm very familiar with the Blueprint class and how to use it. Well, there you go, folks. Uh, an intelligent NPC that can you can give a basic backstory to, and then it can just use its AI intelligence to uh, fill in the rest of the questions you ask it. And that last question I asked it seemed pretty accurate. So that's going to wrap this tutorial up. I hope you learned something. If you do have additional questions, feel free to leave a comment. I might be able to answer it, but I'm not a game dev. So you may have to go to Conveo's website. They do have a support team that you can email. And they responded to me within 48 hours. I asked them one question and pretty quick response. So as always, like and subscribe and leave a comment on what you want me to make next. And thanks for watching.